World races are like none other. They are some of my favorite special events at the parks. I recently registered for the Wine and Dine Two Course Challenge, so I thought you might be interested to see what the registration process looks like. Given how fast the race registrations usually fill, I can get intimidated with the process. I hope that this video will help you prepare for your next Run Disney race registration. Before registration opens, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the website and select your race or races that you would like to register for. If you plan to run a challenge, you register specifically for the challenge and not the individual races. If you are looking to register on the day that the registration becomes available, you will want to be prepared by having the website up in advance of the posted time that Disney has indicated that registration will open. They will often put you into a virtual queue to manage the number of people wanting to register. When you get through, you'll want to move through the process as quickly as possible to secure your registration. Some races will sell out in well under an hour. When you start the registration process, you will be prompted to log into your Disney account. I recommend having this login and password saved to your device to expedite the process. Information that you will want to be prepared to submit during the registration include the size for your tech race shirt and emergency contact information with phone number and the relationship to your emergency contact. If you plan to complete the half marathon in under 2 hours and 15 minutes, you'll be required to provide a race with a proof of time. Even if you're planning to complete the half marathon in over 2 hours and 15 minutes, You'll be prompted to enter your estimated finish time and expected number of minutes per mile. This will help Run Disney determine your corral placement for race morning. You'll be asked a few more questions for demographic purposes, and then you're ready to check out. You can pay with credit card, debit card, Disney gift card, or Disney reward redemption card. I used a Disney gift card. After you have completed your registration, you will be emailed a confirmation. That confirmation will include a prompt to complete your race waiver, which you can do at any time.
I like to complete my race waiver right away so that I don't forget about it. About three weeks prior to the race weekend, you'll be emailed a digital race packet with more information about the race to include the course maps. If you are traveling into town for the race, you'll need to allow time to visit the expo at least the day before your race to pick up your race bib and t-shirt. I hope this registration tutorial was helpful. Good luck and happy training.